Closed captioning provided by Sammy's Cafe No. 2. Open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner seven days a week. Sammy's Cafe No. 2 in Rancho Cucamonga. Let's Dine Out is made possible by support from Food for Life Baking Company, makers of over 60 organic, all-natural sprouted baked goods, as well as gluten-free and vegan products. Food for Life Baking Company, dedicated to better health since 1964. Foodforlife.com Serve Pro of South Redlands, Yukaipa, providing 24-hour emergency service to any size residential or commercial emergencies like water, fire, mold, or storm damage. Professional, insured, and bonded. Serve Pro of South Redlands, Yukaipa. Bratworks Gourmet Hot Dogs in Redlands. Contemporary, fast, casual dining featuring gourmet hot dog and sausage sandwiches, salads, and other culinary creations. Other locations in San Bernardino and soon to be open in Palm Desert. And viewers like you, supporting local public television. Thank you. I'm food critic Alan Borgen, member of the Southern California Restaurant Riders. I've been finding the best restaurants in the Inland Empire and Southern California for over 27 years. This is my job. This is my passion. Let's dine out. Welcome to another delicious edition of the Let's Find Out Show. I'm food critic Alan Borgen. And I'm Trisha Jansen. And we're here to show you some of the best restaurants in the area. Okay, I have to warn you guys, if you're wondering why, well, I'll speak for myself, I look like I was dragged behind a cart <laughs> with a horse for about three miles. It's because we did our show backwards for the first time. So it's a little, little it's chaotic. About a 14 hour day. Yeah, it's about uh, 11.30 at <laughs> night and we've been eating since about nine o'clock this morning. But we're professionals, so we're here for you. <laughs> so we're a little so. tired. Okay, what's on the menu today, Trisha? On tonight's show, we first traveled to Riverside for some unexpected and elevated steakhouse fare at Law's Restaurant. Then we're off to nearby Redlands for some delicious breakfast and lunch items at Carolyn's Cafe. city has its popular neighborhood hangouts and Law's restaurant in Riverside is definitely one of those. The dimly lit restaurant is reminiscent of the old diners of the 50s and 60s with comfortable booths, a large bar, and even some pool tables to entertain you while you enjoy your food and favorite beverage. Under the new ownership of Michael Huddleston and the addition of the new menu items created by chef Daniel Hale, Law's is certainly a restaurant that is deserving of your business. Okay, Trisha. <laughs> yes, we're here Alan. at Law's Restaurant in Riverside. Yes, now, we this are. is a restaurant I've passed by a million times, and a couple weeks ago we stopped in. And again, this is another great example of you can't judge a book by its cover. From Absolutely. the outside, it looks like, yeah, nothing ordinary, nothing to say, eat me, come in and eat me. Right. But boy, once you're here and they have a new chef and everything, yes. it's, I've heard it's really come around. I wasn't here before. But I heard they've really brought it to a whole different level. Well, I've been coming here for probably about seven or eight years off and on. And I will say that the food was not great. It was kind of a place known as price driven. You know, you came for the specials and people like to come here and drink and hang out. But the food now, we cannot wait to share it with you. It's pretty amazing. Speaking pretty of sharing, special. let's get into it. Okay, we can do it. Okay, first dish, steamed clams, $13.99. Great appetizer. This is about a one pound, big giant bowl of clams. It's sautéed with white wine, lemon juice, garlic, butter, bell peppers, onions. It's topped with Parmesan cheese and parsley. Comes with garlic cheese bread. I thought this was delicious. I love clams. I love mussels. This is perfect. Now, I have to say, I love the juices. I mean, I, this is the kind of stuff. It was garlicky. It was lemony. I want to bathe in it. I Absolutely. just want to pour it over me. And 
I mean, it was wonderful. It was, well, you had me at butter. Um, I wish there was more sauce to it. I, w I wanted to really dip my bread in there and it just wasn't enough sauce, in my opinion, but I really, I like the flavors. Excellent. And I don't really like clams, so I mean, it's amazing that I did like nice the flavors. And tender and, oh, so Delicious. Good. Next, we had blackened salmon Greek salad, $14.99. Now, you know, I love a salad. I always want to do a salad. This is no exception. They do a really beautiful. I didn't get how many ounces of salmon. Did you? Did you check to see? Didn't know. It was a nice size. About I would say about ounces. six ounces. Yeah. Gosh, we're so smart. Six <laughs> ounces is about a fist now. Of a beautiful blackened salmon. Um, it's over mixed greens. Then there were olives, cucumber, red onion, tomatoes, in a really beautiful raspberry vinaigrette. Now, normally I wouldn't love a raspberry vinaigrette on a Greek salad, but the flavors all worked. Well, it was sweet, a little tangy, tangy, plus the feta cheese, little pieces of feta cheese. Little pieces cheese of feta cheese. Now, my critique on it is I didn't like the skin on the salmon. They seared the salmon. It was perfectly cooked. It was delicious. But for me, in a salad, it just was unappetizing to have the skin on the bottom. I know that you liked it, but well, I just think, ugh. To me, not only did it add to it, but you're supposed to eat the skin. It's got a lot of good stuff in it, and it's got the flavor profile. It's crispy. It's so delicious. Yeah, and I wanted more feta cheese. I also think a little um, little wedge of a pita or something to it would have been nice, just an accompaniment to it. A little pita wedge or something. Garlic bread. A pita wedge. It's a Greek salad, not nah. garlic mm. bread. Anyway, it was very good. Great flavors. Now, if you like burgers, you've got to get this one. <laughs> this is called the Island Burger, eleven ninety nine. All I'm gonna say is, wow. This is about a seven ounce <laughs> burger. First of all, it's juicy, perfectly seasoned. It came with grilled pineapple. It was sweet and tangy. Real ham, slices of real ham, Swiss cheese, tomato, lettuce. It was topped with teriyaki sauce on a bun. It came with uh, thin cut fries. This was extremely, extremely messy, but delicious. I love the interplay between the smoky ham. I mean, it was like honey baked ham, I think. Yeah. That with the teriyaki, with the pineapple. Like I said, this is extremely messy, but delicious. Well, you said real ham, I'm like what, versus well, fake no, ham? Well, no, versus, <laughs> no, a lot of places I've been to, it's like shaved, you know, the, the processed ham. This oh, is real okay. ham. okay, like slices of ham. Yeah. You know, this burger, it, it's it's a seven ounce Angus patty. It's a manly burger. It's a manly burger. Ladies, this is not for you. I am, I have to say, it is the messiest <laughs> burger I have ever seen in my life. I wasn't gonna touch it with a 10 foot pole. I mean, it was so messy. The flavors were good, you're right. The, the caramelization on the pineapple was great with the cheese, but it was just, it was a hot mess. It was mess. over, over it the was edge. A hot Hot mess. Mm -hmm. Next, we had shrimp scampi, fourteen ninety nine. This is a beautiful rendition of white wine, garlic, butter, cream sauce with some tomatoes, a little bit of capers in it over angel hair pasta with about five to six large shrimp that they had blackened a little bit first. Mm -hmm. You know, they they had grilled them. You know, it was delicate but creamy. It had a great flavor to it. It was garlicky, but I love the and brightiness lemony. of the of the capers. I love what that brings to the That's table. It was lemony. It was it was garlicky. It, was, it, was, it was perfect. Creamy. It was perfect. Great garlic bread. I mean, I have no critique with it whatsoever. I've got a question. Before we start, you were kind of wiped out. I mean, you've still wiped we've eaten out. eaten a lot today. Are you okay? First off, you're doing a great job. No, because you're doing a great job. She's a real trooper. Well, it looked you. like I was drugged behind a cart, but yes, you're I'm hanging great. In there. I'm hanging in there. You know, girls, it's really hard to keep your makeup on and your hair looking good after 14 hours Such of eating. Such problems. It's, it's really hard, man. But she's doing it. Struggle is real. But you're doing it. Well, next we had Prime Rib, $24.99. This is the king cut. 16 ounces of slow roasted Prime Rib served with a la jus a little creamy horseradish, a beautiful loaded baked potato with sour cream and butter and cheese and bacon and chive. We love the chive. It had um, fresh broccoli and carrots. When do you go to a restaurant and do you get fresh produce? It was lovely. You know, this was tender and juicy. It was delicious. Yeah, no complaints. And a great price, you guys. $24.99, that's Can't nuts. Beat it. Mm -mm. Next up, the rack of lamb, $32.50. This is a half a rack of lamb, about seven dainty chops, I call them. It's, now, first it's got honey Dijon mustard, pistachio, <laughs> of crushed pistachios, and then it's baked. And it's served on a bed of port wine demi grillés, and then it's got fresh sautéed spinach with it. Absolutely fantastic. What I liked about it was, the, the, obviously pistachios, but it was a beautiful inside. It was nice and tender. It was absolutely delicious if you like lamb chops. It was excellent. It's one you had to just kind of gnaw on. A rack of lamb is one Go of my to favorites. Crazy. I, uh, me too. It's one of my absolute favorites. Another item with, that I really like, the top sirloin, it's called the baseball cut. This is $17.98. Now, for those of you that don't know much about a baseball cut, it's the upper part of the top sirloin. So it's a, it's a very delicate piece. It, a lot of people don't know about it, but it's got a lot of flavor. It's tender. 
This is 10 ounces. It's a, it's a charbroiled. And um, like I said, it, what's really nice is what it comes with. It's tempura, broccolini, and rice pilaf. I've never seen tempura, broccolini. I haven't either. It was excellent. It was really the good. The steak was juicy, tender. He really knows how to do some great things with the steaks here. And yeah. again, from the outside, it doesn't look like a real steakhouse, but this is fine dining, I mean, at its best. It really is. I mean, you wouldn't expect that here, and that's, again, what we love about our, our show is that we find these little hidden gems. Uh, I want to say that all of these entrees that we're talking about, um, you can choose two sides. So you can intermix whatever, baked potato, potato, veggie, or... whatever you want to do. So good. Last but not least, I'm so tired. Okay. <laughs> It's ribeye steak and lobster. <laughs> I mean, how can, you, how can you not get excited about that? Now, before you get into it, we're not sure on the price. <laughs> there, uh, yeah, it's, it's no a 16 idea. ounce ribeye. <laughs> it could have been the $300. We don't know. We don't know. I, it was pretty reasonable. I think it was 24 for the uh, ribeye. And then an add-on for market price the, for the lobster. For the it's lobster. about a four or five ounce lobster. They left before. <laughs> It's me and the main We're closing up. We're closing We're here up. with the janitor. <laughs> yes, we, I don't know, but it's well worth it, whatever it is. So go ahead, now that I interrupted you. Well, I don't really know much about it either, because we're tired. But I will tell you that it's delicious. The lobster was perfectly grilled. It was we had sweet. A, it was sweet, and, and it had a great flavor. It was seasoned nicely. Sometimes right. the lobster can just be boiled, and, and it's tough. Just, and tough. Yeah. It was tender. It was juicy. There was tons of butter. I want to say there was like an entire <laughs> stick of butter on there, which, of course, you had me at butter again. I was excited. We had a baked potato again and asparagus that was grilled. It had a great Pretty flavor. Nice. And, I mean, I kept saying, I cannot have another bite. I cannot eat another all bite. I heard all night. But. but then I was styling the food. I was dipping it in the butter, and I said, well, i got to try it. It's my job. <laughs> so I did. Trooper. She's a trooper. <laughs> so, so I did. Okay, Trisha, what were your favorites? Do oh, you Alan. Them? It was so long ago. <laughs> Bedtime is my favorite. <laughs> okay, I'm going to say the blackened salmon Greek salad. I, You know, I love a salad. It makes me feel healthy. I'm going to say the shrimp scampi. Surprisingly, I love the flavors in that. And I'm going to say the ribeye steak and lobster because, I mean, why not? It's lobster. Can't beat and it's that. butter. What about you? My favorites were the island burger. Messy, juicy, flavorful. Oh, you can't get mess. any better than that. And again, for $11.99, it's a steal. Yeah. The shrimp scampi, again, I really like that. It was buttery, it was lemony, it was a lot of garlic, and that's one thing I like you about this garlic. restaurant. I love yeah, garlic. I can smell it. Yeah, it was great. And my third choice, the rack of lamb. I really like lamb. I love the, the pistachio, crushed pistachios. The Dijon uh, mustard really gave it a little zing to it, and it kept the nuts on it, and it was just really, really good. All right, Trish, let's take a deep breath. We're <laughs> almost done. You know, again, Law's Restaurant, it's on Indiana and Riverside. A great find, and if you really like good quality food at great prices, this is where you got to go. For sure. So, what's next? Well, we're going to go back in time, and we're going to be looking a lot better, let me say. <laughs> In TV land, we're going to go to Carolyn's Cafe in Redlands to have some really great uh, breakfast and lunch items and some yummy coffee cake, but we're going to look better, I promise. Questions or suggestions for the Let's Dine Out Show? Contact Alan or Tricia or visit letsdineoutshow.com. If you're looking to start your day with some great breakfast dishes or some hearty lunch items, then come on down to Carolyn's Cafe in Redlands. This large, bustling family restaurant serves a multitude of delicious dishes that are plentiful and reasonably priced. Under the vision of new owner Keith Kahn and their friendly staff, Carolyn's Cafe really tries hard to make your dining experience a great one and welcomes all of you to try their new larger location. Well, we're here in Redlands and uh, another great restaurant. Absolutely. You know, uh, Carolyn's Cafe used to be in a smaller location Much by smaller. the by the DMV. And, you know, it's a great breakfast place and there's always be a line outside. And even though there's a line, they get you in and out quickly. But this is a larger location, so you can feel good about coming here. They get you right in and out. And the service, this is probably the best oh service I've seen in any restaurant by far. By far. They work together as a team. There's probably 500 people that work here, it seems like. <laughs> I've never seen so many servers in staff here absolutely and they're all hustling and they're friendly and but they uh, genuinely care and they, they know care. their customers and that's that's the important thing so you feel like you're visiting in someone's home let's get right into Alrighty. it 
Okay, crunchy French toast. So this is four half slices of really thick, crunchy uh, French toast that they top with um, cornflake and sliced almonds. So it has this really delicious flavor. You know, the bananas on the top, I forgot to mention the sliced bananas. bananas. Sliced bananas and about a whole banana's worth. I a mean, lot. it was like, <laughs> a lot of bananas. Monkey go crazy bananas. You know, the flavors on this were absolutely delicious. Now, the first time we came here, we got it and it had just whipped cream. And I wanted a little bit of butter. You know, I like butter. I have a little love affair with butter. <sighs> so for me, I do like a little bit of the whipped cream because it does look pretty. For TV, we did whipped cream, but I personally just like it with the butter. It's salty, it's crunchy. You know, the nuts add such a nice toasty component to the French toast. You know, the cornflake gives it a crunch, but the nuts give it a nice nutty flavor. And and the banana, I mean, gosh, you know. What's funny, I didn't even taste the almonds. I don't know why. Really? What, I, this was very nice. However, to me, it was dry. And <laughs> I, you can put, you can put, as it was the first time we ate here and the second time we ate here, you can put syrup over it and of it helps. Of course you put but syrup on it. But I still would it. much rather see a hotter version, almost, you know, bananas foster type, where you get the bananas, a little butter, and put the syrup with it and pour it on top. It needed some moisture. To me, the French toast, it had a crunch to it, but it was too dry for me. I completely disagree. French oh, toast is meant to have butter and syrup, and I don't want a soggy French toast. I want it to be crispy. I don't want it soggy. I just want a little moist. No. What, what's that? Completely disagree. Your opinion. It was fabulous. Next one is fabulous now. Chocolate chip combo. This was eleven fifty. This is now normally most people order one gigantic pancake, <laughs> but no, we got to do it a little bigger. So we had three of the pancakes. This yes. is a combo eleven fifty. This is gigantic, three of them, oh. fluffy pancakes with a ton of chocolate chips. It came with eggs, a large slice of smoky ham. I really, really mm -hmm. like the ham. I agree. This is fantastic. I love pancakes like this. It was fluffy, it had flavor to it, it had a lot of chocolate to it, and then this was moist, unlike the first one, but this had a lot of flavor. It was great pancakes, even if you don't have the chocolate chip, I think. I've had pancakes before like this, and I like it, it was fluffy and gigantic. Order one, that's plenty really. Yeah, one is plenty. Now they do serve it with a little chocolate drizzle and whipped cream again. Now personally for me, I butter, like it butter. just with butter. <laughs> I thought the, the ratio of chocolate to fluffy pancake was perfect. Okay. And that and the butter gives it a little saltiness to it, so it's not overly sweet. And of course, you're using syrup. When I was eating this, it was funny. Denny's came out with a little thing saying, our pancakes are now 30% fluffier, you know, like a new batter. I'm like, why don't they just come here and get theirs? I know, their pancakes are fabulous, so good. The next one was a big country style breakfast, 1125. This is a giant biscuit topped with a, a big, nice, uh, spicy sage sausage patty. Lots of, of country gravy, potatoes, and even more country gravy and cheese over that. This is a mound of love, of loveliness. So it's just <laughs> this, loveliness. I feel like I was in the mines, you know, mining for gold or whatever they do in mines or coal, I guess. But when you get out, you want to eat something really heavy and everything. This was just like, really good. I love the sausage. What was nice about this? It had I a agree. nice kick to it. I love the sage and it just really came out. Good really flavor. Great. Yeah, it's usually this is kind of a mixed bag dish for me where it's like things piled upon things upon and things. Then, and then country gravy is really nice, a little peppery. It was really, really good. And a lot of sausage in it. Mm -hmm. Very good. Next, we had home style corned beef hash uh, and eggs, $9.95. Now, they make this scratch made here. They do their own corned beef. And if you know, corned beef is a brisket that you, you brine it for, I think they do like 18 hours. And then they braise it for about five to six hours. And then they shred it and they serve it with uh, potatoes you know, and fry it up. So what I like about this is I like that it isn't like that typical corned beef hash that you get that kind of looks like dog food, sorry, <laughs> some places. This has a really beautiful, you know, shredded texture. Um, I loved how they got the potatoes really crispy and I asked for it crispy too. So if you like crispy, definitely ask. What I feel like it needed was maybe some sauteed onion. I'd love to see them caramelize some onion, maybe even some bell pepper. It, I felt like it needed more flavor level. It was good, it was just very basic. Well, that was my biggest complaint. I love corned beef, don't yeah. get me wrong. I would make it chopped up a little easier to eat, number one. Yeah. It would mix with the potatoes, mix better and everything. It lacked flavor. I, the onions, bell peppers would be great with it. However, I have to say, if the people here want to eat it, then let it serve it, you know, I feel, I have mixed emotions. For me, I'd like it differently. I'd like the corn style, the, you know, the dog food type, Ugh. but fresh, with fresh, I've had it yeah. that way, yeah. uh, fresh, it was all cubed and everything. But you know, I can't argue, if, if he's successful and people like it, 
that's where it should well, be. Well, I liked it, and I'm the foodie princess. So what does yeah. that have to say? Okay. I really think that it's when you're doing something from scratch, it's nice to showcase that you're that you're shredding the meat, that it's not coming, you know, out of a package. I, I just thought it was just it just it kind of just laid there. I would just say saute some onions with it, just to add some or flavor. Or get a couple pounds of the sauce over it. Yeah, so delicious. The gravy would have been great with it. Absolutely. Next, smothered breakfast burrito, eight ninety five. This is a large burrito stuffed with chunks of fried potatoes, eggs, sausage, cheese, smothered with something different. Half of it was smothered with their uh, creamy country gravy. Yeah. The other half had a green um, chili verde sauce. Now that had spice to it. It did. Now when you have one by itself, it might be a little overpowering, but when you combine the, the softness of, of the smoothness of the gravy along with the chili verde, it made for a really, really good sauce. I really like that. The yin and the yang, on this one really came together. I agree. It's almost like when you have sour cream on a chili verde burrito and it kind of cools down the chili verde because it's a little spicy. It's got a kick, but it definitely has flavor. This is huge. If you have a huge uh, appetite, you're going to love this. For me, I wasn't a fan of the sausage in it. I would much rather have bacon. Oh, no, no. I would like bacon, um, but I liked it. I thought it was good. The flavors I, were I good. I thought sausage really added a lot to it. Well, that's your More opinion. More than bacon, exactly. <laughs> Next, we have Southwest Bacon Avocado Burger, $10.95. Now, you can get your choice of a side, and we did fries. They're kind of a battered fry, very crispy. Good. This is more of a patty melt. They're calling it a burger. I'm going to call it more of a patty melt. This is a third pound of Angus beef patty. It has bacon, really good avocado, pepper jack cheese, tomato, um, I think it had pickle on it, a chipotle mayonnaise, and then it's served on this really delicious, I have to slow down because it's so good, Parmesan garlicky toast. Parmesan toast. Yeah. yeah. So, that's what I just said. Did Parmesan you know? garlicky toast. I'm I still, just said it slow. I'm still thinking about the corned beef hash. So, you know, when I bit into this, I was like, you know, there's that that toast is so buttery and garlicky and cheesy. It was so delicious. The meat itself had a really great flavor. The only critique I really had is I wanted to have more of the, the chipotle mayo. It just, I felt like it was a little dry and it needed that extra kick to it. But I loved it. I thought the flavors were really good. Yeah, I agree with that. And uh, they actually made another one yes. because they heard me saying it needed more sauce. And you'll see me eating it. Now this one had a lot of sauce. I would definitely order more sauce to it. Or get it on the it, side. It wasn't overpowering, but it, it brought out the Southwest flavor. And I agree. That's what this made this burger. Between that and the Parmesan, uh, toasted toast. bread, oh bread. my gosh, that, was very good that's burger. a winner combination, that toast, so right. good. Next we had the steak and eggs, thirteen seventy-five. Now this is a New York strip, it's hand cut here on the premises. It was surprisingly juicy and tender and I really, really liked it. On the screen it looks a bit overdone, but the first time they served to us was just perfect and I think they were just rushed because we ordered 500 items. Yeah, they're like, get out of here, chubbies. Yeah, 6,000 people are doing it. So. <laughs> but no, it was a very nice cut of meat, I was very happy with it. Yeah. Um, it came with potatoes, eggs, and your side of choice, or choice of of uh, what do you call it, toast or uh, biscuits and gravy. Yeah, or you could do a pancake, works. one of the fluffy yeah. pancakes. I mean, that would be the trifecta. Do they get breakfast too? Yeah. Pancake? Yes. Oh, go, you for pancake. go for the pancakes. Pancake so egg, delicious. Steak and eggs. Oh, so good. Heaven. Speaking of heaven. Okay, last but not least. Let me shut this over. I know. You guys, okay. So we have these two examples here. This, this, this coffee cake is like, to me, love. I mean, it's just like the best thing ever. And of course, when you get it, they warm it and the butter is just oozing down the sides. I mean, just perfection. They also have a new variety. There's a gluten-free variety now, which, which I think is, very good. it's very good. I think it's nice that, you know, they're, they're catering to people right. that have a gluten sensitivity or if you just are staying away from gluten. My critique with the one uh, for gluten-free is it doesn't have a lot of cinnamon in, it, cinnamon in it, but it still has a great flavor. Mm -hmm. They're both so good. The coffee cake is 350 and the gluten-free is 450 The cost is a little higher to do it. But you know, Come for just the coffee cake. I mean, take a pan home. Your whole family will love you forever. And it's really funny, when you mentioned Carolyn's Cafe, the first thing people say is the coffee cake. The coffee cake. And you know, I know there's a lot of rumors going around about, oh, blah, it's box cake. They tweak it. I mean, they, they put their love into it. They, they decide how it wants to be. And I'm a very semi-homemade cook myself, so I can really relate to that. I can take something from a box and make it fabulous. Yeah, I, don't, I have no problem with that. No, it's, it's fabulous. It really is. I mean, it's, it's the one reason you want to come here, for sure. OK, speaking of fabulous, <sighs> what are your three most fabulous I want, dishes? Well, for sure, the coffee cake. I don't even have to open my menu to know that. Okay. I love the coffee cake. I actually loved the Southwest Bacon Avocado Burger. I'm calling it a patty melt. Mm -hmm. So, so good. And I'm gonna say, yeah, I'm gonna say the crunchy French toast. I like uh, I like the okay. crunch and the banana. Okay, for sure the pancakes, they were spectacular. They very, were. Very, very good. Yep. I would say the Southwest Bacon Burger, but order more of the Chipotle meal. You gotta have it with yep. that. And I would say the steak and eggs was very good. Can't Just go wrong. Sure the steak is medium rare. <laughs> if you like medium rare. Yeah, well, most people do. <laughs>
Oh, well, there we have it. Two great restaurants, Riverside and Redlands. And this show is all about showing you the best restaurants and some of our favorites. And not only Riverside and San Bernardino County, but all throughout over. Southern California. Yeah. So until next time, from Kuda Gallon Borgen. And I'm Trisha Jansen. Happy eating, everybody. <laughs> I'm grabbing this because she took every one. She asked for a This one's no good. Have a little bit more. She's got two boxes of this stuff. This is mine. I love this cake. It, it makes your heart me out. happy. Let's dine, dine out. out. Okay, go ahead. Cheese love on the egg. Can you get it stretching? Yep. Is there any other way, Trish? Five, four, three, two. Oh, you're gonna like that one. Okay. You're out of my stretch limit. I love cheese. Is the janitor looking? I don't Do you know. realize it's just us, the janitor? I think they've just left us here. Well, we gotta have a little piece. Oh, so I'm just gonna have just no. a little piece, okay? Here. Laying down. <laughs> <laughs> Closed captioning provided by Sammy's Cafe Number no. 2. Open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner seven days a week. Sammy's Cafe Number no. 2 in Rancho Cucamonga. Let's Dine Out is made possible by support from Food for Life Baking Company, makers of over 60 organic, all natural sprouted baked goods, as well as gluten free and vegan products. Food for Life Baking Company. Dedicated to better health since 1964. Foodforlife.com ServePro of South Redlands, Yukaipa, Providing 24-hour emergency service to any size residential or commercial emergencies like water, fire, mold, or storm damage. Professional, insured, and bonded. ServePro of South Redlands, Yukaipa, Bratworks Gourmet Hot Dogs in Redlands. Contemporary, fast, casual dining. Featuring gourmet hot dog and sausage sandwiches, salads, and other culinary creations. Other locations in San Bernardino and soon to be open in Palm Desert. And viewers like you, supporting local public television. Thank you.